Hi Scorpio! I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel or welcome back and um, uh, if you're new you're more than welcome and I hope you will join us in the live sessions every day as well and um, please subscribe down here and hit that bell then you'll be notified when new videos are loaded up and <clears throat> when I go live and welcome to my cyber angels welcome back thank you very much for your support and that you come back and that you're so faithful in supporting this channel without you this channel would not be what it is and I do appreciate that and I hope the feeling the feeling is mutual and you have a mind-blowing reading when I put out these cards and I look back after I've put them out, I thought, wow, your luck has changed. So let's get into the reading. And um, if you, just one more thing, if you do have other readers that are, or channels that are your favourites, then please subscribe to those channels because at the end of March, the, I think that the new system will be up and running totally. And I think I'm... Um, People are losing uh, their memberships because they're not carried through to from the old to the new. I've lost a hundred members and other readers are also warning their viewers. So be warned. Please subscribe to your favorite channels or the channels that you watch and hit that bell. It is imperative. And please will you also share and like this channel. And you please become a member and become a cyber babe when officially when you come into the life. You'll be um, hailed in, <laughs> welcomed. Okay, Scorpio, your luck is changing and you deserve it. Um, actually, a lot of signs their luck are, is changing this year. But now I'm seeing it for you. First, uh, the last one that I noticed the change, positive change, was Sagittarius and now it is you big time. First of all you've got celebrations on the 17th. This reading is from the 17th to the 23rd of February 2020 but you are having celebrations or perhaps you are invited to celebrations as you have the Three of Cups and look how beautiful these gla glasses are. Sorry for the shimmering if it shimmers and it is about time too and not only that but perhaps you've had a wow valentine i hope you have perhaps you got engaged and you're part partying on and on and on good for you then you have from the archangel of michael the blessings and thanks and you've got the horn of abundance usually it's money uh, flowing out but in this card it is fruit, like the fruit of your labour. You can see it is being rewarded. So abundance is on your way, or is on the way, it's here now. Blessings and thanks, and abundance of universe. And you've got number 47, so number 47, 4 and 7 is 11, so you've also got an angel number, a new beginning, the doorway of the angels. The angel Metatron card is giving you a doorway. And here you've got the Queen of Fire, and you might be meeting a Sagittarius or have a good friend that is a Sagittarius, Aries or Leo, and you, or you might be... Uh, feeling like one of the fire signs. You have fire within your chart, perhaps. You have an idea and nobody can bring you off that idea. No wild horses will drag you away from what you want. You are determined, you're independent and you're fiery. And wow, karma is coming back. Look at this, you've got the karma card. Untie, uh, tying the knots. You are independent. Perhaps you're breaking away from something that will, you might start 
working for yourself, doing your own business. And it's going to go well because karma is returned. You've got 28 and 28 means 10. 2 and 8 is 10. So endings, new beginnings. Yes, much better new beginnings. You are going to get your abundance because you've been patient. You've been good. You might have been fiery, but you have been nice and you've taken action um, in helping others and yourself to better the situation that you were in. But luckily, your dreams are coming true, your goals are coming true, but you've done something about it. As you've got the Seven of Cups, like I always say with this card, make a priority list. And you have done that and you've decided which dream or goal you want to come first to fruition. Boom, the fruit of your labor. Okay, fruit, fruit fruition you are going to harvest big time and you might be celebrating with family and friends as your family is important and you are sharing your dreams or your goals with your family family and ancestors and you've got the circles of life yes something goes up and something goes down but now you're in the upward movement You've got 49, so 4 and 9 is 13, and 13 in the I Ching, or the Yin and the Yang, is fellowship. You are making new friends as well. You're perhaps more co collaborators with your business. You are collaborating with others and building your own family outside your blood family. Awesome. You've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Wheel of Destiny. That's another way of saying it. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Your time has come. Something might go up a next level. Like I said, your relationship. You might have just got engaged or you might be getting married. And your relationship is going up this time. Leave the past the past. Okay. I love this clock and we've got Libra here and we've got the let's have a look and we it's between um, Cancer and between Leo awesome so I don't know whether that would be significant for you but you are in balance yes scales you're in balance it might have taken you seven or eight months but the time is right. It's leave the past. It's just past the past, half past. You've passed the half circle. So there's lots of good things coming. And the long hand is going upwards. As that's the way the clock is moving. So you're in an upward spiral. Like I said, you might be going on holiday, moving home. You might be going up in the next level in work or business or relationship. Awesome. The karma card. Boom. Karma. Karma. Everything is coming back to you. Everything that you've done good and with a pure heart will be paid back to you threefold. Awesome. And if somebody's done you wrong or good, they will get it back threefold as well. Then you have number 21, which is uh, three and three is creativity and you've got the indigo child mystery and mastery of life uh, yes um, life is mysterious and scorpio you are um, regarded as the mysterious sign you uh, do keep things uh, close to your chest in your little shell but you're coming out now or you might be you you are in your shell, but you're coming out big time. You have mastered the mystery of life. You are creative. Wow. The overall energy for you this month, Scorpio, is um, career. Um, this, the Queen of Wands, is career um, or hobby. 
but she goes for what she wants. She has passion and she goes after what she wants. That's her passion. And it's action, is work and creativity is hobby. So it might be that your hobby is uh, turning into um, business as you've got the Queen of Pentacles, Mother Earth. She loves animals and she loves plants. She's got the green touch, so everything she touches has time, takes time to grow and nurture and, and blossom and harvest. You've been busy with your career and this career or this work, this job, this business is for long term and it has durability. You are coming out of that transformational period. You're not the caterpillar, you are the butterflies. You can spread your wings and fly. If, you, um, if that is not you or doesn't resonate with you, um, she also stands for fertility. So if you want to get pregnant, then you might be fertile at this moment. If you're too mature to have babies, then you might become grandmum. Who knows? Um, if, uh, if you don't want to get pregnant, and then take precautions, whether you're a man or a woman. Uh, it's also um, giving birth, a birth to a child or a project, like a new beginning in a, in a job or your own business, like I said. You'll be nurturing that, that will be your baby, but it takes time to set up and go. Um, but you've come into action and you're doing it, or you're going to do it, and you will be picking fruit or uh harvesting fruit for your hard labor. It will definitely be abundant. For the angel, um, you've got the rainbow angel feather color and a special blessing is bestowed on you. So know that my darlings, this is, sorry, that could have, should have put them down a bit lower for you to see. So perhaps you can see now and this is an awesome angel feather. It is my favorite feather because you've got all the colors of the rainbow. It's positivity. And also with the rainbow uh, angel feather, the rainbow represents connection, uh, heaven or the universe, the divine is showing you that earth is um, hooked on to heaven or the universe. That is enough connections. A rainbow angel feather, a special blessing with immense excitement. The angels announce that you are to receive a special blessing. Well, I said it was your time, Scorpio. It's a blowing, mind blowing uh, reading. This angelic joy will radiate to you through this blessing. The rainbow angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of an angelic blessing. The rainbow is composed of nearly continu continuous spectrum of colors, the, sev the sevenfold rays. The rainbow has been referred to as many things in liter literature, including a magical bridge between heaven and earth the great ultimate uniting plus the balance and the balance between the physical and the spiritual realms made by a messenger the angelic realm sends you this blessing following consultation with the divine it is personalized and perfect know that it will bring you joy hope fortune love or illumination Open your heart in readiness to receive and smile with anticipation. Now, Scorpio, the, Chris, uh, the other symbols that the rainbow angel feather represents is also chakra balance. What chakra? Chakra, chakra, chakra. We've got karma here. Okay, karma. Sorry. New beginnings. Well, definitely soulmate renewal 
spiritual illumination. You've got two women here. So you could be meeting a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus that will be your soulmate, or you already have that friend and she is your soulmate. Or you will be meeting a Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo as a soulmate. They, fire signs, never want to let go of friendship. Once you've got a friendship with a fire sign, it's for life. But be careful. Set your boundaries and know their boundaries. Because they're thirsty, they're feisty. So, um, you know, they can, they've got a lot of pit. I don't know how you say it. They go for what they want. So don't if you don't want any arguments, then know your boundaries and set your boundaries. Let them know what your boundaries are. The crystals that you can um, use, Scorpio, is clear crystal and flame aura spirit crystal. So, just, oh, it is the crystal quartz, clear quartz and flame aura spirit quartz. Now, your birth sign, um, your birth sign, uh, uh, Scorpio, that is, um, if you're born in uh, October, uh, yes, uh, hang on a minute, so, uh, Libra, October, if you're born in October, then your birthstone is Pearl. If you are born in November, because Scorpio, you are, if you are at the end of October, um, you are Scorpio, then Scorpio goes into November. If you are born in November, then you've got, what did I say, Ruby? Um, because I don't, yes, Ruby, I did say Ruby. I hope you have enjoyed this reading and all your, your, your colours and your angels and you've got all the angels, look at this, um, this, this is your page just for the rainbow um, angel feather, you've got all the angels, you can get grounded, you most probably will, uh, your heart, there's also pink, the yellow is the emotional chakra, that's the heart chakra, the blue is the throat chakra and then we've got the third eye and your crown chakra and your crown chakra is also white but they haven't uh, included that here so let me show you in a bigger picture okay that is the spectrum so you've got Ariel, Gabriel, Jovial, Raphael, Shamiel, Haniel, Michael, Raziel, Zadkiel and Zadkiel Zapped fuel. Okay, so enjoy. Call upon any of these angels, and that will enhance your beautiful week and you. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. And I hope to see you in the life. Take care and be blessed.